Hi, I'm Gary Crooks, designer of the Shadow Ball Pro Size 5. Welcome to this exciting video documentary of the Shadow Ball Scientific Passing Accuracy and Catching Improvement Program. Beautiful. I'd like to introduce you to two key members of the Shadow Ball Scientific Sports Team. Kobani Bobo, ex Springbok player, current commentator on Supersport Rugby, ex Springbok 7th captain, and Dr. Ray Finch. Person with a lot of experience in doing scientific sports experiments, been working with the New Zealand cricket team, the Australian cricket team. Very glad to have you guys on board. Thank you. Gobani, tell me the drills and that your thinking behind how, how you put the drills together. What's, you know, what's your input, Jan, and how do you value your, your input and what do you think it will do for rugby? Oh, just first of all, uh, I wish I had this ball when I was still playing because uh, uh, the, 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 the skill sets. Is, is of catching and passing is probably one thing that makes New Zealand being a world leader in terms of the rugby side. And that's why these guys have won 36 games and they've lost one game in the last two years. So now if we can, uh, with these drills, improve in terms of how the guys pass the ball, how confident they get when they pass and the decision making that they can make, the improvement can just leap on forward and make us the world beaters that we know ourselves to be. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to and it's good to have these kids here trying to enjoy that and trying to see how much we can improve them. The first is to develop a battery of, of tests to, to test the skills. Test the skills today and test the skills in four to five weeks time after, after having exposed to the tool. So this, the five different testings, um, test skills, skill sets that we're going to do today is to test this passing, standing passing accuracy um, test from both dominant and non-dominant side, as well as the running passing as, and catching. So if we, can, if we can show that there's been a, a statistically significant improvement in the skills, we know that the ball has been, has been privy to that, to that development. Day two, what we're trying to do today is uh, catching and passing improvement accuracy. And uh, with me, I'm, I've got the Dr. Ray Finch and Ian on my side. He's a man from uh, Peak Performance Coaching. Yeah, I think yesterday went well. I think the scientific testing was was well well managed and, and, and was nice and strict by the by the testing testing staff. So we're hoping to have a really good before and after testing battery where, where we can where we can prove the, the effectiveness and efficiencies of the shadow ball which we introduced them to today. I think they're gonna be intrigued and excited. I think yeah. yesterday using a different skill set and different practice routine, I'm already they were a bit amped and I think when that ball is unveiled um, they're gonna get pretty excited. When I saw the first team, which was the biggest team I've ever saw in, in rugby, and I thought, yes, I want to be part of this history, I want to be part of this heritage. Then I thought to, to myself, how the hell do I get myself in there? Because there's about 600 boys in the school and everyone wants to play first team. So the next challenge was about getting to that Bok jersey again. And the only chance I could have was the next year at the Craven Week. Made the SS schools the next year at the Craven Week. 
had the privilege to share a room with a guy called John Smith, who won the World Cup in 2007. And then from there, just trying to make sure that I achieve as much as I can. Woke up every morning, made the 10 kilometer run, make sure that every morning I was running. Because one thing I used to always think about, the guy I'm competing with, he's probably sitting at home doing nothing. Every day, I take a chance to improve myself. I'm beating that guy to get myself in that position. Just one thing one guy said to me, he said, if you could do something that you enjoy, to your best of your ability, you never work again. Shadow ball is something that I've been dreaming of for years. Um, it's a dream of mine come true. It's one product that I think can really make a difference in the world. Let me ask you, how, have you, how many of you play rugby? Who's ever sat with a rugby ball at home and wondered what to do with it? Put your hands up. What do you do with it? How do you practice your passing? How do you improve your skills? A couple of you. Okay. Well, today, I want to amaze those guys of you who didn't put your hands up. I want to show you something really special. The shadow ball is the first ball of its kind in the world. It's protected under a patent, which is mine. You are the first experimenting team that's going to be able to use it and see the benefits. So I hope you'll do me proud. It's good to be back again now we're here for the final and checking the progress of the players what they've done with the shadow ball testing experience of catching and passing so what I've been excited about is the fact that everyone has improved and not just improving everyone's starting to enjoy the shadow ball and shadow ball has, has added a bit of value because it's been used as a tool but it's all about the kids to enjoy themselves get better at their skills and aim I've seen massive progress with these players and I'm actually starting to enjoy it a bit more now because the guys starting to understand what the rugby ball is all about great skills this is what it's all about Okay, four weeks on, we're back here testing and it's obvious that some kids have really put some work in and um, something uh, that we really wanted to see strengthen is passing to the weak side and I was highlighting Vili Leroux from the Springbok team and how he gets that pass in and some guys really were trying to strengthen that pass up. Then it was pretty obvious that they were the non-rugby players but they really had an aspiration to have some basic ball skills because no one, no one enjoys being shown up even at a social level so the guys have been working with the ball, really enthused. Some of them lost their ball to some uh, senior boys in the boarding house, but that was obviously because it caught the senior boys' eyes. So there's enthusiasm, there's passion, there's interest. The guys are really enjoyed the project. So it's, my name's Ryan Ravenscroft. I'm the director of sports at JPR School for Boys. Uh, yeah, and I've just been just overseeing, well not overseeing, just being looking at the Shadow Ball project okay, so from, from an outside perspective and, and just very thankful to Shadow Ball for using us as a, as a pilot scheme. We, I, I think the boys have embraced the challenge and embraced the, the ball and, and, and ultimately I think it's a wonderful tool for the future. You know, um, the boys have been uh, around the school using it a lot. It's, um, yeah, we, we're very happy from a school's perspective. Um, my name is Jaden Pepper. I'm in the Super Experiment group. Um, I've been playing with the uh, shadow ball for now like, for four weeks. Um, it's improved my passing and my accuracy. I've been throwing it against the wall. You put tape up against the wall and throw it against the wall. And yeah, it's just. So my name is Lita Zua. I'm in the Experiment group. Uh, I think the shadow ball is a good, good ball that can help you a lot with your passing, especially when you do two sports. So I think the shadow ball helps you with that with your passing when you're not looking at the ball and the catching of the ball. My name is Shade Glacier. I am in the control group. Um, I unfortunately didn't get a shadow ball to take home, but I'm in hostel, so quite a few of the boys there mess around with the shadow ball, get some game going, but and I'm, I'm actually hoping to get one. It does definitely improve your skills. It's, it helps a lot.
Just in closing, thanks so much for all of you guys who put that 100% in to the control group who, um, who like stayed out of it for the benefit of the test. We appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys. Awesome. Okay, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks. Everybody in the club.